Yeah, so my name's Graham Scott. This is uh, the new Proton sequencer holding the chip, Proton 1 chip in my hand. And here you can see the Proton sequencer itself. This is uh, semiconductor sequencing. So the way this works is we're actually able to deposit um, millions of, D of different DNA sequences into wells on this chip. We actually then uh, put the chip on the instrument and we're able to introduce um, fluid solutions onto the chip and the way the technology works is as we actually sequence the DNA, as we add one base at a time, a proton, which is a hydrogen ion, is liberated, is released. As we do that sequencing, we actually see the release of that proton, is charged, so we can actually measure that. Just like a pH meter would measure hydrogen ions, we do that on the chip, but we do that in a very multiplex way. We do that on this particular chip up to 165 million times. So we measure that proton charge, and based on whether we see a charge, or whether we don't see a charge, we can tell has a base incorporated, and based on the height of the signal, we can tell how many bases incorporated. So the utility of this is it's extremely rapid, it's very, very fast sequencing. You can do sequencing in a few hours on the instrument. From blood draw to sequence is under a day. We fit it in a one-day in a one-day period. The technology is very simple. If I was to show you inside this instrument, you would see circuit boards, um, you would see tubing, you would see valves. You would not see really any complicated um, any complicated technology. There's no optics in this instrument because again, the way we do the detection is by looking at the protons at the charge species. So it's very simple. It's very scalable. We, we will have a second chip called the Proton 2 chip that will do a genome. Um, and it will do that genome again in one day. And uh, the chip and the, and the sequencing reagents and the template reagents that do the amplification, all of that will be for $1,000.